Adding a contact form to your site lets visitors connect with you using elements like text fields, radio buttons, and checkboxes. You can set up a contact form that can provide specific information if the visitor chooses to share it. So I've pre-built a contact form here. Let's look at the elements that are included. There are several text boxes, which label each section of the form. I've also added three text input fields for name, email, and questions. The name and email fields are both set to single line in the style pane. Questions field has that unchecked so the visitor can type as much as they like here. Notice that I can enter pre-filled content here. So I might put in your questions here in this field. The visitor will then be able to replace the pre-filled text with their own. Scroll down in the style pane and we can set the selected field or element to be required. This means that if the user doesn't enter anything here, they won't be allowed to submit the form. Under formatting, I usually like to keep all these checked to provide the standard text entry features available on most computers or mobile devices. In the How Did You Hear About Us section, I've added four checkboxes. The visitor can check as many or as few of these as they like. As I select each one, the names you see here in the style pane are key. The top name is what will be displayed on the site. The bottom is the variable name of the checkbox that will appear in the submitted form. When a user submits this form, it's going to come to me as an email. Each checkbox will be listed in that email as either having been checked or not. If you want the default to be that the box or boxes are already checked, change that here. Use these buttons to control the size of the selected checkbox and its text. Next we have radio buttons. These usually are going to provide a choice for the visitor, so they have to choose only one. To make that work, we need to match the variable name here for both buttons. In this case, I've labeled it News. The button names are above, yes and no. Finally, we have the Submit button. This is what's going to send all the information that's been inputted to an email address. The key here is the option under On Click. What we want to choose is Email Form via Server. This is going to leave all the background work to Sparkle. All I need to do is provide an email address. The Advanced Form Submission option is more for experienced web developers that might already have support for this set up on their web server. In the From field, we could really provide any email address. This is the address that the email is going to say it's from when it arrives, although it's not really being sent from that address. The to address is where this form is going to be sent. This needs to be a working address. Enter a subject that will make it clear that this is coming from your contact form. Next, I can set what elements I want collected and sent back to me in the email. I'm going to want all of these. Next, I need to choose a thank you page. This is the page that will come up after the form is submitted. I've created a new page in this site that won't be included in the menu, simply called Thank You. So I'm going to link to it. Next, I can customize the button as I could with any button created in Sparkle, or use the System button. This will display the button style associated with whatever browser the visitor is using. I'm going to stick with my custom button. We can't test this in Safari Preview, so I've uploaded the site to a section of the MacU.com. I'll go to that address and bring up the contact page. I'm going to fill out the form, and when I'm done, I'll click Submit. After a minute or so, the form's going to arrive in my email. And all the information that I entered on the page is presented. 
Using a contact form is a better option than providing an email address directly on your site because they deter spam. They also are more convenient for visitors because they can fill everything out right from the contact page. No need for them to compose a new email. So, contact forms can be a great option for getting feedback or contact information from your visitors.